Hi, I'm Heather McLean, editor at SVG Europe, and I'm here today with JW Players' Jerome Wittering. Hi, Jerome. Hello. Hi. So, tell us what you're talking about here at IBC. Uh, so, here at IBC, uh, we are launching our pro platform, our end-to-end -end platform. Uh, we have made a lot of work, or we made a lot of progress in the last couple of years mm -hmm. on launching both live streaming and now uh, subscriptions and pay-per-view capabilities okay. as part of our platform. And so uh, of or origin, we're mostly focused on advertising and on video on demand streaming. So we now think we have a bit li both live mm -hmm. and subscription on board. We have a very nice suite for uh, f sports broadcasters as well as for sports leagues and teams. Fantastic. And what sort of trends do you see coming up in the sports broadcasting world in terms of, you know, content? Um, so what we see quite a bit is um, uh, we tend to, our, our, our uh, initial uh, customer group uh, tend to be the broadcasters, uh, but more and more we are getting the actual sports teams and the actual sports leagues as customers as they themselves want to stream content. Uh, so we see uh, we, that, that's definitely a trend that, that, is, that we see, that's new to us, where uh, sports teams come to us to live stream certain events, mm -hmm. and rights permitting, etc. But that, that's slowly but surely opening up. And then the leagues are really interested in an OTT proposition uh, for, um, yeah, to reach end viewers directly. So okay. that's, a, that's definitely on the business side something that's very interesting. Uh, on the content side, you know, the whatever life rights they can get, they would like to stream themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, outside of that, it's yeah, still like lots of summaries, back to, you know, behind the scenes, interviews, etc. Right. And then what sort of challenges do you think the sports broadcasting industry is going to face coming up over the next year till IBC 2024? Um, so yeah, just the, the, the rights, of course. So we mm. see that we see our customers struggle with that. What can they do? Where? And uh, yeah, we're also providing a lot of kind of like fine-grained control over um, in which countries or at which qualities you can stream which events, or even in which in your regions or city areas you can stream certain events. Uh, so that is definitely one area that's a challenge. I think another area to do keep in mind is to um, uh, there's a lot of focus on the technology to get the live streaming, the apps to get to the audience, but it's not a given that an audience shows up. So we see we were coaching quite a few of our customers around like what's your marketing plans, where do you acquire your customers, do you have the budgets, how does that feed into the apps, what's your strategy around on the one end you coupons and discounts and trials, get your customers on board. And then on the other end, once they're on board, make sure that they you know, uh, stay engaged, uh, retain them, make sure that they renew. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can grow your audience base on, on both sides. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jerome. Have a great show. You're welcome. Thank you.